fetch me some ice She give me a pinch and save a buzz for my pillow Bolt me a bronze Talk to me now, she got to wine And the time I'm getting hungry Fill me a grave I'm Laura Bonicelli, and we are cooking with Italian style. It's not always fast, it's not always easy, and it's not always Italian. We use the freshest and finest ingredients that we can find and afford, and we not only savor the meals we make, we savor making them. That is cooking with Italian style. This week, we're making one of my favorite things to throw together around the holidays. This will keep you warm on a cold evening. It's my broccoli cauliflower cheddar cheese soup. Well, let's get cooking. One of my favorite meals, lunch or dinner, is a great bowl of soup. Why open a can when you can make it so easily yourself? Anyway, I am cutting up my leeks for the soup and I cut them in half, got rid of the dark green parts, this is the white part only, cut them in half and rinse them really well in between. As you can see, this is a great place for dirt to get trapped. So these are all clean and now I'm just gonna slice them down lengthwise like that. And then I'll just cut across like this to chop them up. And you don't need to worry about this being perfect because this whole thing is going to be pureed with a stick blender at the end so they'll get chopped up. And I need a good generous cup and a half. Now the other ingredients we have here is, um, and I've got them all out, and the reason for that is the cooking of this actually takes less time than the prep does. So you want to make sure that you measure everything ahead of time. So I have unsalted butter. We want to use unsalted butter because you can always add salt, but you really can't take it away. And I've got four tablespoons or a half a stick of that. And I've got three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to grind in some fresh ground black pepper and we're going to grate in some fresh nutmeg. Just a little bit, but it'll really add to that flavor. And then we have a clove of chopped garlic, three quarters of a teaspoon of fresh thyme leaves that I've chopped, four tablespoons of flour. We're gonna use that to make a roux which is going to thicken our soup. And we have four cups of homemade chicken stock. And you know how I feel about homemade chicken stock. But if you don't make your own, um, talk to your butcher. butcher. Uh, most butchers sell it. And you can buy it that way frozen. So four cups of that, cup and a half of a nice medium Wisconsin cheddar cheese that I've grated up, and some lovely, fresh heavy cream and that's I'm going to use about three quarters of a cup of that you could use less if you wanted to you can just kind of eyeball what you want your soup to be like in terms of creaminess and this is just perfect okay let's get the last little bits there then last but not least I've got some organic broccoli and organic cauliflower I bought these frozen. You can certainly use fresh if you want to, but the frozen is really good quality. And I'm just going to cut the tops off of those and get them into a colander. And then I'm going to run them under cold water to thaw them. You don't need to cook it. You just need to have them thawed. So I will do that right now, and we'll be all ready to start putting our soup together. So I have my pan over medium-high heat. I'm just going to add in my butter and get that melting. That is looking good. Now in go my leeks and my salt. I'll give that a quick stir. And grind in a little pepper. It's probably a quarter of a teaspoon or so. And then I'm going to grate in some nutmeg. This is really, really going to add to the flavor. Great. I'll give that another stir and we're just going to saute these for about two minutes. These are looking good, just softened. So now I'm going to add in my garlic and my thyme. And I'm just going to cook these for 15 to 20 seconds just until we get a little of that aroma coming out, which I can really smell. And oh, I can smell the nutmeg. Very nice. And in goes my flour, and this is the part where we're making a roux. We're going to 
just keep stirring this constantly. I might cut my heat down just a little bit. We're going to get all of this flour cooked. This takes about two minutes. You can see how nicely that is browning and all that flour is cooked. And now I'm slowly going to add in my stock while stirring. This will calm down in a second once we get enough in there. Keep stirring it. See how nice and thick that's getting? Keep slowly pouring it in. Great. Now once I get this all in, I'm going to lower the heat and let it simmer for about five minutes. I kept my eye on this and gave it a stir actually pretty frequently. See how nice and thick that is getting? It smells awesome. So now I'm just going to put in my cauliflower and broccoli. And I'm definitely keeping my eye on this now. And it's going to simmer for about 10 minutes. And then we will puree it. Well, that has been bubbling along beautifully. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut my heat and take my stick blender and I'm going to blend this up right in the pot. Okay, this is just the way I like it. It's nice and thick and creamy and yet it still has some little bits of broccoli and cauliflower in it. So now, still on the stove, I'm just going to turn the heat back on to a medium. And I'm going to stir in my cream. Beautiful. I mean, you could do this without the cream, just the cheese, if you wanted to keep it a little lighter. But the cream is absolutely, absolutely wonderful. It's starting to bubble. And then in goes my cheese. Can I get all of it in there? Good. And then I'm going to add in three tablespoons of cold unsalted butter just to finish it off. Now all I have to do is get this all melted and then I'll taste it, adjust my seasonings, I'll add salt, pepper if I need it, and maybe even a little nutmeg, and we're ready to eat. I did add just a little more nutmeg to it and it smells just divine. It's nice and thick and creamy. So if you have a food saver, you could pack up some of this. This serves about four to six people. You could just throw it in your freezer and then you'd really have a quick and easy meal. Well, let's ladle some of this up. I think you'll be able to see that there really are st still some little chunks of broccoli and cauliflower in there, just the way I like it. A little messy, but oh, so good. And then what I did was I made some croutons. Just a little bit more. That is a very generous bowl. I just used some day-old bread, a little parsley and fresh thyme, tossed it with olive oil, and then put them in a 375 degree oven for about seven or eight minutes and they browned up really nicely. And I'll just kind of set those on top as my garnish and also just to complete my meal. I really hope you enjoy making my broccoli, cauliflower, and cheddar cheese soup and cooking with Italian style. If you want this recipe and more, go to solobybonicelli.com and click on the recipe section. Thanks Park Petit for the wardrobe, and I think I'm going to try this soup. Mm. Oh, that's good. Bon appetito!